All right, so my plane, I'm just going to go ahead and just maybe a little bit more segments on it. Like that, maybe. That'll probably work. And I already got a high enough where I want it. And then go back to my particles. Maybe change the amount back down. Like that. Maybe a little bit more. And okay, so that's probably fine. I mean I like the drag look, but alright, one other thing we need to do now is go to our volume select here. Let me just just trying to get a good view. I want you to be able to see this. Uh, let me see if I can. Gosh darn it. Alright, so if I go to volume select and turn on soft selection and just wait a second for it to kind of kick in because right now it's going to be set to 20 and that's a killer on it so I'm going to get to soft selection we're going to set this to 1 to start now we'll get a much better uh, you know a nice soft edge to it and then you can play with your pinch a little bit because what we want to do is kind of create a ridge around the um, ridge around it, the edges of it. So you kind of come up there. And that gives us our ridge. You don't want too much soft selection on it though, but like that. See, now there's a ridge. There's actually a ridge coming up around the edges of it. Try to get a better zoom. There we go. All right, turn Turbo Smooth on, and we'll go ahead and render that and see how that looks. See, now we have the drag through the snow, like that. And now, pretty much, what's happening is, uh, we for our volume select, we set it to vertex mode. Right, so what's happening is the b every time the foot of the biped, the bottom of the foot, hits this ground plane, wherever that hits, it's going to select those vertices. That's why we're in vertex mode, and it's going to tell it the X form. It's going to tell it to conform with the mesh, the mesher. Okay, this uh, the, it's just going to tell it's telling it to take the mesher, those little boxes can form around those boxes the particles that are coming off of it and that's what the X form allows it to do it allows it to conform to those boxes and we use the soft selection to give it that nice gooey you know soft edge with the and that helps us get bring up the ridges and all that so that's why you have to add a lot of segments in there but like I said don't add too many let it be rough while you're messing around with it and have a turbo smooth set up only for render time so you get that nice that nice soft look to it. All right, and then as far as um, as far as your material, we'll set. We can leave that on for now. Just set up a standard material, whatever you want. If if you want to do snow, just grab a uh, another material from the slot, name it snow, and we're gonna assign it to the ground plane. Make sure your plane selected. I'm gonna. Assign material to the plane. And um, I'll just zoom out, I guess. Alright, once you do that, then you can unselect it just so you can see it a little bit better. And for the material, it's just a white with a self-illuminancy up to 50%. 
and a noise I added a noise map to the diffuse just click on the, the button and then choose none or noise when you get to it and I turn my blur level all the way down to zero this is all from default and then I change my size to 0.1 and I just changed the color I changed it to fractal and I gave it I left this one white this one was originally black and I gave it a lighter color it could be any color you want just to give change it up a little bit a light gray light blue whatever and that uh, then go back to parent and I'm gonna show map it really doesn't matter if you show it or not you know you either have it white whatever you want to do um, open up your maps which will be down here it'll be like this by default just open that up and drag an instance just drag on top of this bump it'll say none for bump by default and just choose instance when it asks for it and set it to 100 or so and this way it'll up close it'll give it a bump too so you can use that noise or I mean even better you can do a copy of it let me set this one to none here go to copy bump and we'll put a copy and we'll set this one to black because bump usually works good better with just a black and white but any changes you make now if you make any changes to your um, diffuse like if you change the size you will want to also go back now since it was only a copy you will want to go back to your noise map and change that to a uh, to, to the same size so you know if you change it to 0.3 before on the the fuse you'll have to come back and do it here and instance allows that all these changes to be exactly the same as the other one but since we want a little bit more bump to be affected that's what we chose the black and this one because it allows the bump to work better or you can just go with the the light blue you know keep the do the instance and just use a higher bump number for percentage so it works even more so you know and of course when you add shadows and all that stuff um, up being up close the bump will you'll really see the how the bump takes effect when you when you add lighting and all that stuff to it because that's that's when you'll notice more shadow all the shadows and stuff like that but you know that's that's pretty close to a snow effect just like that you know it's got the texture to it and that's why I usually add the blue in there I try to add the blue in there because black will make it look too you know it'll give too much blackness I may may have a little bit too much bump in there so let's try the um, an instance of this now and just go with a higher number for the bump since we it's not a black and white it's actually a, a light gray a light blue and a white and just get zoom in real close and this you know just zoom in and just make sure you can see some kind of bump going on in here I like the the way that looks much better uh, may even may even add a little bit more. Just render it, so you can almost get the same exact look as you got with the black, just by using the instance. It's much easier to use that instance and just go with a higher number, and then you can get the same results as the black and white. But I'm going to come down on the percentage on there. This way you only have to change one. You only have to change one noise thing. If not, you'd have to go back and change them both. So we'll leave it at 200. I think that's going to be perfect. I'll minimize that. And then we render it. And we have snow. All right, so that's how you get the uh, snow uh, prints in there, mud prints, whatever you want to do. All right, so that's that's just one way of doing it. Let me see where we're at on our time limit here. All right, we're going on uh, 30 minutes, so this is going to be a three-part thing right here. So um, I guess if you want to stop here, and that'll be fine. If not, we'll go to another part, and uh, I'll show you how to add the spray off the foot. Uh, most people, I think, just want to know how to do the footprints. So I guess I can quick try to quickly go through and do the spray, and that'll be in uh, the rest of the part. So. Um, continue on to part four if that's where it's at or just continue listening and uh, we'll go to the the others um, so let's add let's see this one's the footprints this one's the snow bring up our particle emitter again and what we'll need to do is we need to add two deflectors in here first so I'm going to go to space warps